You listen to the wrong people. How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know whether there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. You have to feel sorry. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. You listen to the wrong people. That only cause more trouble. Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Is it really true? Somewhere down at the harbor, as far as I know. Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. I hope he didn't get attacked by a wolf, or worse. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> Vosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Vosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Some guy just walked into his store, took a boat, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. I'd have gone about it differently. Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous. That's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Bosper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. I could have told you that. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we'd like. You can't keep anything to I'm no better off. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit new. order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following That's decree is bad business. And there's more, and believe it's me. going to get even worse. I'm no better off myself. Quite obvious. These are bad times. So much for you, filthy beast. Nothing to be had there. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out.
nothing there. That's it, I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc, right outside the city, holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. About the wolf skins, I've got them, here. Great! I knew you would be suitable for this job. Here's the pay I promised you. And, what do you think? Isn't this better work than banging away at swords all day, or filling little bottles in a dusty chamber? Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? I had hoped you would choose me, but if that's the way you want it, does that mean you'll vote for me? If none of the other masters objects, yes. But you would certainly have made a good hunter. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. But no, he insisted he knew better. Hey, you! Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. There's nothing you can do about it. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. I've got my own opinion about that. No. Wait a minute. What do you want? 
I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. I'll give you my approval. Brian will still be here for a while, and a strong lad to take his place will turn up in time. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. Can I sell you some herbs? If you have any to offer. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. Wolves, as well as sheep. And last of all, a rose, a human. From this moment onward, Lord Andre will take the supreme command of our militia. All the citizens of this Wait a minute. have martial skills at their disposal. Okay. Yes, but I'm not going out of the city the anymore. At least not anytime soon. My knees are still shaking from the scare that orc gave us. Hey you! I have a proposition for you. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me. But she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What's in it for me? When I have the stall, you will get a weapon from me, and a damned good one. Really, how interesting. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to foist the letter on her? Let her show you her wares, and while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city, so don't try to play me for a fool. I've got a suit. Don't tell this to anyone. And he works all day, too. How's business? When the paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity, but they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill. What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. And Onar, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm, but I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. Show me your wares. He'd better shut up. Now that's typical, isn't it? That's an open secret. Now that's typical, isn't it? That's not what my husband Everybody thinks. knows by now. That's not what I heard. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Everybody knows by now. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. He seems like he talks to you.
Enos be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? That I must tell Lord Hagen myself. Suit yourself. But you should know one thing. Lord Hagen receives only paladins, or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. Why are you paladins in town? The goals of our mission are secret. I can only tell you that there is no danger for the citizens of the town. You need not worry. About those missing people. Just leave me alone with that. I've got other problems. I want to take up service with the Paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the Paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. What should I expect with the militia? Let me make one thing clear. To be a soldier of the militia means much more than strolling through the city in a uniform. It is a dirty and even bloody job. Once you are one of us, a great deal of work will be waiting for you. But it is worth it. Besides the pay, you might someday have the chance of becoming a holy warrior of Innos. Is there a faster way to join you? Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Good. Listen, I have a problem. If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia. But the most important thing is, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure that we're dealing with an organized gang. It would not amaze me if there were a thieves guild in Corinus. Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. But you must say nothing about our agreement. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. I can only tell you this much. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing. Absolutely nothing. People there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the paladins, you will learn nothing. What should I do once I've found one of the thieves? If it's a matter of a lackey, a henchman, or some small fry, it would be best if you avoid a fight. You should rather come to me and report. I shall then see to it that the fellow winds up behind bars. The city guard could intervene in an open battle, and you would not have the opportunity of explaining to them what is going on. Furthermore, there is a bounty for every rotten apple you put behind bars. However, if you locate the leader's hideout, well, then you probably won't be able to avoid a fight. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? Do you have proof of that? She has a letter in her pocket which details the delivery of arms to him. She won't get away with that. I shall have her arrested. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. He simply talks too much. And it's gonna get even worse. Well done. Sarah is where she belongs. I have taken over her goods, so if you need a weapon, come to me. You were going to give me a weapon. Don't tell Correct. This to Here, this weapon is a masterpiece what? of the blacksmith's art. Show me your... Take your pick. Secret. These are bad times. 
I can't take care of everything for everybody. Now that's typical, isn't it? And he works all day, too. Go away. Don't tell me that. I've got soup. Who says things like that? That's not what my Welcome, husband. stranger. My name is Baltrop. That's what have I you come to stock up on food? I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint I you. Haven't seen it with my own. I don't have much in stock right now, but I'll be getting a new delivery soon. That's not what Have you got a job for me? No, I already have an errand boy. But that's Try the other merchants. Show me your wares. That's not what I heard. Go away, don't tell me that. I'm Zurus, master of potions. Do, do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've now come to the right typical, place. Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant. But he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always anymore. passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to collect plants Who for his potions. Like Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the Eastern City Gate here Don't and say. then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told Don't me that just about me. everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. If I hadn't seen it with Has Constantino words? ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles. Near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. Don't tell this to anyone. Show me your wares. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Everybody knows by now. I won't tell her a thing from now on. And he works all day too. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Hey, hey, not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? That's what I've always said. From the city? Well, well. Then what are you doing wandering around out here, so far from the protective walls of the city? What's so dangerous out here? Many things. I bet you'll be yelling for my help after the next bend in the road.
if I hadn't seen it. That's not what I heard. Now that's terrible. Don't tell this to anyone. I don't believe These that. These are bad times. Nothing there.
You're in for it ah, now. A fight! there. 